Hello developers, welcome back to all of you once again. Hope you all are doing well. I am Mikhail all the way from India. So this is the second part of catalog item and workflow. If you didn't watch my previous video, I recommend you to watch that previous video so that it would be clear for you. So friend, uh, in this workflow, consulting request workflow, I have added three activities. It is roll back, turn style, and wait for conditions. Let's see how it will work. See, after the team manager approval, this activity will execute and it will ask the members of that particular team for the approval. If anyone rejected, if anyone of the uh, of that team member will reject the approval then this activity will execute and let me show you this is just the rollback uh, it will basically roll back to the previous activity okay move to roll back to or jump to the previous activity and it will work for approvals only. Okay. So if uh, this activity will execute, then it will just uh, execute this activity run a uh, turn style. What is this used for? This uh, turnstile activity is used for to allow executes allow execution to the same flow again and again. But there is a condition: how many times you want to execute that same flow again and again? We can add here iterations, allowed iteration three times. Means this turnstile will repeat this process for the three times only okay and it will check if this is the first time then let's ask for the approval to the team manager again if again this team manager will approve and the, then this activity will execute and again if the member of that uh, particular team Will reject it again. This survey activity will execute, and again, this turn style activity will check that if this is the second time. And let's ask for the approval to the team manager. And after third time, it will execute this activity. Okay, wait for conditions. So I have taken this activity because I will show you. To ask why team member rejecting the approval, right? And for that, the assigned to user, okay, of that particular RI team will have to change the status close complete or close incomplete not only that see uh this is get left as codec see if i will change the status okay to close incomplete okay or close skipped then this additional comments field will be mandatory to ask that why you are rejecting the approval okay to have the valid reason for rejecting the approval request if you got it so let's close it and then it will end the execution so let's uh, 
publish it and I just want to open this item okay and then again I want to make a request okay now uh, with this request for let's add any user and based on the lookup definition is this email address is populating and it would be better if you watch my previous video so let's now development what is the business purpose you can see um, okay so project okay and what are you trying to solve i B, okay, not C. Form to build an application. Okay, dot dot dot. Okay, that's it. Let's order now. So let's open this and let's open the RI team. Now you could see uh, through the workflow also. Right now, this activity, okay, approval. This approval activity is running and waiting for the team manager to be approved. So, if I'll approve, okay, let's see what will happen. If I'll approve, save it, then the flow will transit to this activity. See, now this activity is running, means waiting for team members to be approved or rejected. Now I'm going to reject. So oh, let's see. Now you can you could see there are three members of that particular uh, team, development team. So let's uh, reject. Okay. So first you could see not yet requested. So if I refresh it, you could see rollback activity ran and transfer activity also ran and then it will go for team manager to be approved okay wait for her sorry for disturbing it and Again, if the team manager is Abraham Lincoln, will approve it. Okay. And let's refresh it. See, again, approval goes to this user, uh, group user. Again, this activity is running, and again, I want to reject uh, by date angling. So, it see how you could see what happened. Refresh again, this activity. Okay, because of uh, this turn style, this is the second time it is allowing us for to ask approval to the team manager. Okay, and again, let's this is the third time, right? So I'll approved. Okay, and let's rejected by James Smith. Rejected, okay, and 
So, what will happen now? Refresh it. Again, uh, this is the third time, right? A third time it will allow. So, again. Okay, approved. And if I will check here. So, now this is the last. If I will reject, not yet requested, you could see. See, wait for condition, okay. And if I will say close in complete, okay, this will be mandatory through the uh, UI policy. I I'm doing this. I will show you that. Okay. Uh, to to some issue dot 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 like that. Okay. And just update it. Save it. Okay. I'll just leave it. Okay. I'll show you. Close incomplete. Due to some issue. So this is you could see the close incomplete. See how the workflow end. So this is how rollback, turn style, and wait for condition activity executes. So friend, if you really like this video, uh, if this video is really helpful for you, please do subscribe and share. And thank you for watching, friend. Bye bye.